our travel and tourism correspondent there, Erin Muchuma, of course reminding us about the beauty and uh, the serene of our nation, Kenya. Of course, they are highlighting Buffalo Springs in Shaba National Reserves. Well, tonight, of course, as I told you earlier on, we want to focus on the circles and cooperatives movement here in Kenya, and of course, their role in advancing our economic agenda. And of course, what is their role in the Big Four agenda? Hmm. Joining us in studio is Mr. Daniel Marube. He is the chairman of Cooperative Alliance of Kenya. Mr. Marube, on my extreme left, thank you so very much indeed for joining us here. Thank you very much indeed. And next to her is Masi Jeru. She is the advocacy manager at Cusco, which is Kenya Union of Savings and Cooperatives Union. Yes. Got it right? I deserve a, I deserve a <laughs> gift. Eh? <laughs> and of course, next to me is Mark Matabi. He's a team leader at um, enabling market integration. integration. Rural group empowerment. Exactly. They are joining us here so that we can look into this industry and, of course, look at the challenges and the opportunities. Therein. Thank you so very much indeed for joining us. Thank I you. want to start with you, Marubi <coughs> Fausta, for uh, definitely you know the Big Four agenda as outlined by government. Uh, which role do you think the movement can play best? Thank, thank you, Brian. Um, yes, as you've rightfully said, my name is Daniel Marubi. I'm the executive director of CAK. I know the chairman of, oh. the, of CAK, which thank is right. Thank you for correction. Yes. Uh, it's true. Uh, the, the cooperative movement, uh, ever since independence and before independence, has played a very key role in changing the lives of the people. And the work that we do, as you know by definition, that cooperatives is the people in a society who come together to solve the problems that affect them. And the, the key problems that the cooperatives in this country are, are addressing include ensuring that people have affordable and decent housing, which is a key problem. Number two, we are also addressing the food security and the nutrition. How can our people be fed mm. affordably with <coughs> quality food and sufficient food in every household? Mm -hmm. We're also trying to solve the problems of education through the, the way we lending money to support the education system in this country. Yep. And as you may know, that we spend a lot, most of the money that we give out as loans go into supporting the medical needs, medical expenses mm. of our people. Mm -hmm. We are also trying to empower our people economically, not yeah. only socially, but we also try to improve our people economically. Yeah. So in the agricultural sector, in the Chuakali sector, in various sectors, we bring people together, if it's in the agricultural sector, to see how they can add value into their produce so that the farmer can be able to have a better income. Yeah, well. and, 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 and you see, all those are directly related to the big four. The big four, the president has talked about health, mm -hmm. access into affordable health care. That's exactly what is aff we are aff affecting us. Mm. We are talking about housing. And the housing, housing, that is where we are spending a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And you know, within the surroundings of Nairobi, all the way to Kajiado, <coughs> Kiambu, and, and Machakos, the land that you see, most of it is owned by the members of our various cooperatives. Very well. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I want to come to you, Jane. You know, earlier on we were talking to you, I mean, I mean we were discussing this with you, and uh, you were telling me that, uh, you know, SACOs, or the SACO movement in this country, is well positioned, especially to offer affordable housing, and of course, uh, uh, helping uh, 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 agricultural value chain. Is that what you told me? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, once again, I'm Masinjero. Advocacy Manager, Cusco Limited. Cusco is the union for, for all the circles in Kenya, uh, mainly carrying out the core mandate of advocating for the members, and at the same time offering products and services that uh, are addressing financial and technical needs of the, of the member circles. Mm. Uh, so in terms of the 
two key areas that we think that we, not really we think, but we are supporting affordable housing. Mm. For example, there are over 1,200 cooperative house, uh, housing cooperatives. 12,000? 1,200. Oh, 1,200. Yes, and through Cusco we have a, a, a housing fund program which is addressing like 12, which has 12,000 uh, uh, mortgage accounts. Mm. And therefore, in this area, we, the circle, the cooperatives will come uh, together, they'll buy rent, subdivide, they also build uh, or even buy houses for their members. Mm -hmm. uh, for Cusco, we are also uh, offering the, the financing in terms of uh, buying land, if you want to buy land, if you want to construct, if you want to purchase your own house. So, mm -hmm. All this is addressing the affordable housing. Mm -hmm. We are also part of the committee that is helping the government to uh, to achieve this an agenda. Mm -hmm. And we are very keen because other than the what we see openly as being financed by the housing, most of the funding in the circle sector goes towards funding the housing, which is has not also been recognized, but we want to believe this is a key role that the government needs to address. Mm -hmm. In terms of the food security, uh, the agricultural value chain, uh, right from uh, the marketing cooperatives, the dairy, in all the sectors, uh, circles cuts across all the sectors of the economy. And therefore, uh, we have circles that are circles and cooperatives that are doing the whole value chain mm -hmm. in terms of even, for example, like the dairy <coughs> sector, we have dairies like the Kidunguri dairy, Meru Central um, dairy, uh, which are doing, uh, uh, which are even producing the, the, the milk to the finest level, including the yogurt and uh, other packaged milk. Mm. So when you look at the dairy, it's well captured, and uh, even the marketing of coffee, we have even societies that are doing the whole value chain and even uh, are blending their own coffee. Like Sassini. Yes, like Sassini. Yes. Very well. Uh, I'll be coming back to you uh, because on, on, on the issue of affordable housing, yes. we, we know for sure, you know, that, uh, you know, the public has somehow, you know, we have seen, you know, some companies, you know, coming up and of course claiming to be circles and of course swindling members of the public you know oh. of their savings uh, you know through scandalous means uh, but i want to hear from you uh, 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 matabi do you think when you look at the at, 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 at how circles are structured now and the role they are playing are you of the opinion that they are well structured and ready you know to offer services and of course to, to, to help in achieving the Big Four agenda. Thank you so much, Brian. Um, as I mentioned, I'm Mark Matabi, uh, country lead for USAID uh, CDP program, implemented under various implementing partners, but I'm based at Global Communities here in Kenya. Uh, basically, our role is uh, try to support the players in the cooperative ecosystem in this particular country. And uh, just back to your question, I think uh, uh, so far we can say uh, we are so much rated well mm -hmm. as, as a movement. Uh, cooperative in this, in Africa, is considered, Kenyan cooperative movement is considered to be number one. And then in of Africa. course globally, it's seventh globally. Mm. Um, so far I think uh, we, we are structured somehow well, uh, even though there are gaps which we feel we need some urgent redress yeah. by the movement players and I think that's the best team most important role we are, we are trying to come on board as development partners mm -hmm. to support this mm -hmm. um, we, which are these gaps uh, we have gaps and uh, in, in, in in three areas yeah. uh, one uh, which I can give you categories three areas. one we have looked at we have had issues to do with the with the, what I can refer to crisis of identity and image of the cooperative movement in this country. Just as, as of you, identity. Of identity and image, mm. just as you had put it, mm. where uh, people trying just to come up with something and feel this is a circle, this is a cooperative, mm. when actually it is not. Mm. Looking at the cooperative identity, values and principles, you realize such like an, an outfit cannot be able to fit mm. into the values and principles of a cooperative. Mm. Number two crisis we, we feel we, we, we are still in, uh, based on where we are, based on the constitution of 2010, mm. has been around policy. And, and, and the legislation framework, mm -hmm. where we feel there is still a gap 
recently, I know uh, the CEO has been on, on, on television several trying mm -hmm. to advocate because recently somebody tried to sneak in some amendments mm -hmm. into the COP 490. Mm -hmm. uh, where to introduce other 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 issues which may not be so much like good mm -hmm. in terms of uh, of cooperative values and principles. Mm -hmm. So we still have a gap in that particular regard, and mm -hmm. I think regulations. It's regulations. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I think we more are at micro level we we have a crisis of management. Uh, at the micro level, at micro level, at the, what about co at the at at cooperative the, level, le levels. What about at the macro? The macro is what I'm trying to explain: the identity and and, and, and the policy and legislation. Do, do you think we have challenges, you know, of management at macro? Yes, we do. We do, uh, and these are some of the things we are trying to come together. These are, those are some of the things you are trying to, to deal with. Exactly. Bona uh, uh, exec. Yes. Do you agree with him? Um, in terms of the gaps, first of all, I want to, 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 to put it clear that the cooperative movement in Kenya is maturing. It's maturing. Yes, and we are extremely ready and better positioned to be the instrument through which the government can achieve its objectives, mm. its goals. For example, in housing, I'm saying, we have spent a lot of money to buy land. We have the, the biggest land around in Nairobi and in all other cities. Mm. What we are lacking and the areas of collaboration that we would like to have with the government is if the government can create infrastructure for us, create roads, have water for us, create, have, have infrastructure for electricity mm. and a sewage system, we will be able, we are ready to mobilize our people to be able to work with the different technologies available at the moment to have our members have affordable houses. You, you, you saw recently in Kitengela, the, the young men on, on, on the border borders have homes, they have put up houses, affordable, decent homes through their savings uh, and, 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 and from their daily collections. So we are saying that yes, the government can actually achieve the numbers in terms of housing they are looking for if we partner and if they can also uh, allow us to access affordable funding that our members can be able to use to borrow mm -hmm. at affordable interest rates and a reasonable period so that the members are not straining in terms of, 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 of repaying the loans. Because already we are, we are putting up more houses than the mortgages that is being uh, borrowed from, from banks and housing institutions. Mm. So we are still topping up or we are very far ahead of them. And, and anybody who has gone to borrow money to build a house or to buy a house, the deposit must have come from a cooperative society. But so we are in it. We mm -hmm. are in it. Mm -hmm. We wanted to partner with the government and we are saying, please come build roads, bring water, do some sewerage system, and we will partner with, 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 the, with the government mm -hmm. to give the people of Kenya affordable houses. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you know, he talked on, you know, he touched on three areas um, whereby, you know, they, they feel that, uh, you know, the movement, this moving, movement in this country is having, a, is having a number of challenges. And of course, he talked about three areas. And uh, do you agree with him that these yes. are things uh, that Let, are let me address one issue, mm. which is not a big, a big issue, but it's, it's being resolved. Policy and a legal framework. You know, O'Brien, we, we changed our constitution the other day. The constitution created 47 governments mm. and uh, from one. Remember, we used to have one government, and now we have 47 counties. And uh, the, uh, over 90% of the cooperative functions was um, uh, devolved to the counties. And the moment the counties came to place, they were not prepared to receive, they didn't have structures, mm. they don't have laws, they, they didn't have uh, the policies. We are working on uh, a couple of 490 of the Cooperative Societies Act, which was based on um, a single government. Mm. And uh, now there is a devolution. Uh, services have been devolved, but the counties were never prepared. We don't have structures on the counties that can be able to support the cooperatives. Even the new changes you are seeing uh, coming in, introduced by various parties, mm. is because there are gaps in between.
So what we are doing, we are working very closely with the Department of, uh, of Coop, the State Department of Cooperatives, yeah. with us, the Apex organization, mm -hmm. and other unions like Seb, Cusco, Nacho, and the others, uh, to make sure that we, we come together and consult in a consultative manner mm -hmm. so that we can have a policy which can be able to unify the entire cooperative movement from the national government and the county government and as the movement so that we can have a facilitative kind of a policy yeah. and a legal framework that can be able to support it. And I think I, I, I could tell our viewers and our members today that in the next 90 days, we should be able to finalize our policy and the legal framework with it. We will be able to overhaul the, 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 the Corporate Societies Act yep. and also the, the, the Circle Societies Act to be in tandem with the thinking and the spirit of, of, of our constitution, constitution. And, and and of course it is my understanding that uh, you know that policy is now lying with uh, with, with the light ministry yeah but we are working on it we are working, working on yeah, it yeah we're working on it as a, we're working as partners mm -hmm. very closely and that's why i'm giving ourselves 30, to, uh, 30 uh, three days months. Uh, three months from now Jerry, i want to hear from you uh, I, I'm, uh, uh, you know with close to a to a trillion shillings you know uh, uh, worth of deposits and about uh, 15 million members uh, uh, what how comes, you know, we, you know, circles, you know, have not pulled together, you know, for example, to put up huge estates, you know, of affordable housing. Why are we still having all this money lying in accounts? Uh, first of all, I want to correct the impression that uh, the deposits that are uh, attributed to the circles are lying idle. Because these deposits are the ones that give you you and me loans. Mm -hmm. So they are lying in our pockets and in various economic activities that are financed by the circle. Mm. So what that therefore means is that when we talk of the deposit mobilines, uh, most of us tend to think it's money put in an account and lying idle there. No, we make use of the money. Mm. And that's why you see that uh, circles are a key player in the economic development. Mm -hmm. Financing economic activities, housing, education, among other, even agriculture sector. Uh, that aside, we are saying we are equal to the task of mobilizing the funding for, this, uh, for the sector in terms of the housing. We are also saying that we have special vehicles by the circles because uh, especially the regulated by the authority is that you cannot do other businesses other than the core business of the circle. Mm -hmm. So there are special vehicles in terms of the housing cooperatives that or investments that the circles have come up with just mm -hmm. to do the investment in terms of the real estates for the uh, for the members. The this is I not. Saying, I mean, this, this, yes. you know, a lot of these, a huge chunk of these funds, you know, is lying idle because when you look at the amount of money, uh, amount of uh, of loans, you know, that were uh, advanced by 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 by, by the unions, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's about three hundred and fifty billion Kenya shillings, and so you are left with about six hundred and fifty <coughs> billion shillings in account. Ah well, <laughs> not really. Not <laughs> really. Not, uh, you want to come Mr. to our rescue? <laughs> Let, let's look at all the activities eh, mm. uh, that are being financed by the by the circles. Yeah. Because if we talk about what has gone to the loans and all that, the motive prior effect in terms of what goes into the loan. Mm. I save a land, for example. I'm given times three. Mm. Where do I get the other times three as a circle to finance the, the mm. members? Therefore, uh, I wouldn't agree with you that uh, that money is lying and even if it is, we are also allowed to invest in other areas, non-liquid areas, mm -hmm. because we also have provisions that require that circles also uh, provide for some capital requirements which are, are, are kept aside. So you cannot just utilize everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me also put it like that, that the key role by the circles is well catered for in terms of the regulations and all those requirements. And the circles also do have business plans and their strategic focus in terms of the areas. But specifically coming up now to this agenda of the big four, I think, which is an issue to all of us, mm -hmm. is that how do we consolidate that? We are looking into a vehicle which is going to mop this money into maybe one vehicle, a company, or kind of, or whatever infrastructure that will be agreed upon so that we can have a, a combined effort, so that we are not seen to be uh, doing different, we, different things within the sector, yet mm. we want to address one key agenda as a, 
as a cooperative movement. Mm -hmm. Mat Matabi, I want to hear from you. Mm -hmm. uh, are you happy with uh, what circles are doing with, um, with their savings? I think, uh, as I mentioned before, we, we still have a number of issues which uh, needs a lot of redress. Uh, one on the circles, what they do with their savings. One thing I, I observed, last week I held a very, I brought in together some of the cooperatives uh, to discuss the housing value chain. And actually one of the things that came out was that uh, money may not necessarily be a problem mm. in, in, in some funding some of these initiatives, mm. but actually how do we go about? Uh, because even we have had investors in this country saying we can be able to put in some money into some of these value chains. Mm -hmm. But how to go about and delivering the whole, uh, the whole, the whole product uh, it has been an issue. So I think uh, re revisiting the same, I think uh, we, we still have to do something around trying to understand the real value chain. Mm -hmm. Because there are a number of cooperatives and even uh, circles, they are trying to do something. But uh, I think we still have a gap in terms of uh, trying to understand the whole value chains that we want to, to support mm -hmm. and move forward. But as you can be able to see in, in circles, uh, it has been a circle, circle subsect of the cooperative has been able to do very well. Mm -hmm. But uh, other areas are still lagging behind because we, we still have some value chains uh, gaps which need to be addressed and looked into seriously, mm -hmm. not necessarily focusing on the aspect of money. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we have been able to do, and this is one of the core areas we are coming in to address, we say, are we limiting ourselves in as far as application of the corporate business model is concerned? Mm. And that's why recently, of course, we, we want to thank Madam Commissioner for, for this. Uh, we came through and we say, look here, in the value chain, for example, of housing, uh, if, money is, if money is one of the just factors, but other construction services is also another factor. Mm. And we felt, why can't we, for example, now again, uh, try to uh, try to promote the cooperative business model along workers and services, mm. service industry. And this is why now recently, for example, we were able to mobilize and uh, being able to form a Funditech cooperative, a cooperative of fundies. Because we felt some of the cooperatives have been putting money into the housing value chain, for instance. Mm. But in one or the other, some of these projects never come to completion. And when you ask along the line what was the problem, they might tell you that maybe, for example, a contractor failed them. Mm. And maybe if you go back and say, who is a contractor? Who mm -hmm. failed you? What was the problem? The contractor said, maybe, for example, they never got uh, to get into good understanding with the, with, with the fundies or mobilization of fundies. Mm. So recently, that's what we have been able Mary to do. Mary, you want to say something? I mean, mass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think my concern in this whole area or the concern of the cooperative movement are the incentives that revolve around uh, the housing as mm. we talk about it. At the moment, the cooperatives have not been able to benefit from uh, the mortgage relief uh, that is uh, joined by all the other financial uh, institutions. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, housing that is funded through the circle loans, for example, has also not uh, joined those kind of reliefs. So uh, as we are doing all this, then we are also concerned that the government should come in and offer, offer valuable maybe incentives mm. to the sector so that as we are diverting and doing other businesses now away from our core business, then we need to be doing this happily and joyfully, knowing that even the government is recognizing mm -hmm. this key load by the cooperative. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, one, yeah. one thing that we must realize is that, um, yeah. you know, uh, uh, you know, circles are guided by, you know, regulations, various mm -hmm. regulations, you know, some of them with SASRA, the others with um, uh, uh, the Directorate of Cooperatives. But, but I want to find out, I mean, when I look at M-Pesa, you know, which has been around for, 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 for slightly a, a more than 10 years now, mm -hmm. but when you look at the circles industry, I mean, it has been with us here, mm -hmm. even pre-colonial times, you know, we used to have it here. Mm -hmm. M-Pesa's transactions, you know, about 2 trillion uh, shillings, you know, annually. But when you look at the transactions, you know, uh, 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 across the 22 plus thousand uh, cooperative societies in this mm. country, they are, they are less than half a trillion shillings. Is it lack of innovation or what? Or maybe the regulations, you know, are choking the, the, the industry? No. Um, you, you know, uh, technology is very dynamic. Even banks, it's up to the other day that they have started, adopt, uh, they started adopting mobile banking, electronic banking. Mm. So the um, MPS has revolutionized the way in which we are transacting. And acceptability and the usage has gone up very quickly. 
And when you look at the, 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 the cooperative movement, at the moment, the appetite and the uptake on stable platforms, ICT platforms, on which we are transacting our business to improve our efficiency and increase our numbers to for, for, for as cooperatives, is increasing on on the annual on the annual basis. Mm. We are investing more on technology on secure technologies. We are training more people uh, in the cooperatives on uh, uh, ICT security because you know one of the biggest fears even on, in the, the financial institution is the security of the the systems you are using because we want to ensure that our funds are secure. So we are trying to match both the two, taking up new technologies for quick service for our members mm. and also security. So in terms of technology we are coming up extremely very well mm -hmm. and you know that some of our circles are managing more more members and resources than some of the banks. Mm -hmm. and, I, and you know, you asked a very good question. People are using the, our brand. We have taken time to, to build the brand, the circle. So people are using this brand because it's now acceptable. People have more confidence in our circles. People are putting in more money in our circles. That's why you are seeing that our, 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 our deposits has gone up. A few years ago, Brian, banks were kicking out people from their banks. If you didn't have 20,000 shillings, and that time we remember people were earning 800, 1,500. Yeah. And if you didn't have 20,000 shillings you to open an account, out. you'd be kicked out. Uh, because in the interest of mm -hmm. time, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, want, I know you want to respond to that. Mm -hmm. But I, I, as you respond, uh, uh, Matabi, I also want to hear from you. Uh, do, do you think you know the, the the regulatory regime in this country you know has hampered somehow the growth of circles in the country? And I want to pick one thing. For example, the law does not permit circles <coughs> to offer agency banking services. Mm -hmm. but is that true? No, no. That's no. Not I mean, true. I, you you must offer. You you have to go through a, a commercial bank, right? Uh, not necessary. We don't. That, that it's not prohibited. Are you, are you allowed by law to offer agency, agency. banking oh, services? Yeah, you yes. only With, be, without going through... You only be, uh, uh, has to be approved of? by, by SASRA. SASRA. Yes. Oh, it yes. just requires, yes. It's happening. Yes. Yes. Oh. But, but I think back to your question, uh, the aspect of innovation and creativity in the mm -hmm. movement, I think is something uh, we need to reckon with. And that's why we are coming on board, uh, at least to make sure that the stakeholders can be able to, to have this. And one of the things, just before I proceed, is... What we, where we are coming from, we want to make sure that uh, the movement is talking. Mm -hmm. The movement is talking. I think lack of talking is what may be some drills, and uh, we, we see the, the aspect of slowness and limitedness in terms of creativity mm -hmm. and innovation in the movement is concerned. Mm -hmm. And as we had been able to say, uh, our movement branding actually is so much leaned towards the circles. But what are the other aspects of, of, of the movement where we are looking into? And that's why we are saying, for example, today, uh, this rate at which company business model uh, is being so much creative mm. is not at the same rate of as, as cooperatives. Mm -hmm. When actually cooperatives holds a lot for in as far as the cooperative uh, the, the economy of this country is concerned. Mm. So one of the things we have been able to say is how best could we be able to maybe to apply the cooperative business model along various other sectors. For example, we realize that the cooperative movement in this particular country has been so much revolving around the three main sectors. That's housing, uh, agriculture, and, uh, and, and, and finance, that's circles. But uh, what about other sectors? The service industry in this particular country is growing very tremendously. Mm -hmm. uh, we have issues to do the youth unemployment, and we are feeling, can, is it possible and can it be done that actually cooperative business model can also be promoted along our service industry? Mm -hmm. For example, today, uh, we have many young men, men, men and women who are on the streets like freelancing self sales agents. Mm -hmm. We have fundies out there. We have saloonists out there. We have the barbers baba, baba, out there. People who are doing in formal sector, can we be able to promote cooperative business model along uh, those industries so that we can be able to mop in? Mm -hmm. When you look up today, for example, mm -hmm. the cooperative movement is actually aging. Most of the members in the movement in this country, is the age bracket is so high, it's above 55. Mm -hmm. Where are the youth? So these are the aspects as you're asking about creativity and innovation, mm -hmm. how best could we be able to And of to course bring that begs the question, what yes. is the future you know, of the cooperative movement in Kenya if the average age yes. of a cooperative member is 55? Yes. Uh, Masi, uh, you wanted to respond to that. Yes, uh, first of all I want to say that uh, 
The cooperative business model is the best. Mm. The circle business model is what we'd want to see. And therefore, the issue of even having confusion of uh, some of us wanting to confront into other business model, mm -hmm. uh, I think is, uh, is something that is not right or should not be encouraged because there is a way we bring out the cooperatives and the way we do, the manner in which we do things, their principles, their values. There are certain things that make us belong and have that cooperative identity. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, coming to the age and all that, and the areas, the untapped markets and all that, I think that is where we come in strongly as the union. Because when we are doing the capacity building and technical advice to our circles, we are telling them, can you make sure that you have products and services that are cutting across all those needs and the untapped, uh, the untapped market? Why? Because it's only the circle that will bring on board the issue of financial inclusion uh, right to the bottom of the pyramid. And therefore, uh, trying to promote as many cooperatives here and there, small ones that it may not even be viable to do that. Mm. But which sectors have not been captured? And can they be also incorporated within the cooperative, mm. the cooperatives that are already there? Then if there are gaps, they can be addressed at that time. Cool. Let me also say that this cooperative structure is, uh, cooperative structure is well uh, structured in a way that we are not asking who the member is, who the primary cooperative is, the mm -hmm. national organization, the APEX. We know the role of each one of us, and we know where we pray. So where we encourage the partners to come on board is just to pass the support on the capacities that uh, maybe we'll be lacking in that area. Mm -hmm. And and maybe also to put it clear that uh, the lot of cooperatives or the circles, like now my Cusco, the, where Cusco is coming in, we are even supporting smart agriculture mm -hmm. before we lose it out. Eh? Mm -hmm. The smart agriculture through programs that are donor funded also. Mm -hmm. uh, we are also supporting the ICT through share and platform. We have a subsidiary, ILNET, uh, which helps now the circles to come. Those who cannot be able to afford their own softwares and all that, it's cost effective. So many circles can come together and access those services. Well. We are well. also doing uh, supporting them in terms of doing the ICT audit mm -hmm. because of the cyber uh, securities and other things. So we have all the technical advice and issues that mm. we are supporting the farmer, the, the members. Yeah. And I want to believe that we are not lacking in the system. And you are not lacking in the system. Yes. Uh, uh, gentlemen, I mean, we have to, uh, and, 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 yes. and, and, and of course, Masi, uh, we have to wind up. But I want to hear from uh, 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 Marube. Yes. How do we encourage you know, the young generation to support and to join the movement? Because they're the future. Thank you, thank you. Number one, In 30 seconds. number one, we want to do value addition and, man and manufacturing, mm. and this can be seen on uh, on seventh on Saturday. We will be having an international day of cooperatives, the Oshirika and day, mm. at Hurupak, and we are exhibiting corporate various cooperatives are exhibiting the the value chain and manufacturing and processing, and we are saying that cooperatives in uh, from agricultural sector. We have a huge opportunity for the youth to get employment in to, uh, for our ICT needs, marketing, branding, and, 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 and the distribution of our products. So I want to invite the youth to come and see the opportunities that can be created in housing and all that mm -hmm. during our 96th International Day uh, celebrations at Hurpak. We are having like over 60 cooperative societies which are providing opportunities for the youth. Thank you. The future of the cooperative in Kenya mm -hmm. is massive, it's good, it's bright, and we want every people. And our, 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 by 2030, you would never walk more than 200 meters, mm -hmm. uh, I mean two kilometers, before you see something cooperatives. Thank you that very is much. The we look forward for that. Yeah. 30 seconds for you. I think, thank you so much, Brian. Um, for me, I want to thank you so much. Uh, for us, our, 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 our main issue is how best we'll be able to make the movement talk. And that's the role we are trying to play with the various stakeholders, mm -hmm. including State Department of Cooperatives, uh, Cooperative Alliance of Kenya, Cooperative University of Kenya, uh, Co Council of Governors, and of course the respective county governments, given the fact that actually the movement has been now uh, like devolved. But of course there are a few issues which need to be handled at the national level. Mm -hmm. So we want to encourage the cooperators and the people across the across the nation that actually 7th Jul July mm -hmm. is our day. Let them come and learn more. 
a cooperative can, is the only way that can be able to help this country move forward. Thank you very much. Thank you. Marcy. Yes, uh, for me I would say that uh, having an enabling policy and regulatory framework will unlock all the potential areas uh, that the cooperators can tap in and indeed all the citizens. Mm -hmm. It will also address all the challenges within the cooperative sector. So the starting point is having uh, the reviewed uh, draft policy uh, approved because it's addressing all these areas matters to do with the youth and uh, even uh, circles or cooperatives also participating even in the uh, in the in other areas uh, or sectors that we have not been involved in, in mm -hmm. initially Very well. uh, that has not been captured within the regulatory framework and therefore even as we do it it is not captured mm -hmm. and therefore those are the issues that uh, as a union as Cusco we would be looking at can we have that enabling policy a regulatory framework that is going to address all those things so that we, we don't keep uh, maybe trying to imagine what are we supposed to be doing, who is doing what, who is not doing what. Mm -hmm. And therefore this is going to be a good thing for the cooperatives. Terrible. Yes. Marube, Masi and Matabi. Wow, triple M. Eh? <laughs> Thank you so very much indeed for joining us here. Thank you. Of course you realize that uh, time flies pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And of Thank course, you. we cannot exhaust all these issues on Thank this you. platform yeah. alone. But of course, we'll create another platform so that we can engage you further. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, you so very much, very much Thank you. indeed for your insight. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. And of course, you're watching Business Insight. We've been looking at the challenges and of course, the opportunities facing the cooperative movement here in Kenya. Mm -hmm.